What's up everybody? I'm Elizabeth Muller, founder of Bloom Creative Company. Thanks for stopping by the YouTube channel today. Before we jump into this video's training, I wanna tell you about our community over here at Bloom. It's a monthly subscription to even more Squarespace trainings on getting started, marketing, SEO, and strategy. And as a thank you for being here, in the notes below, click on the link to get your free guide on how to turn your website into a client generator. As always, thanks for being here. Let's dive in. We're super excited to share with you one of my favorite new additions to Squarespace. Something that I have had to do manually to achieve the same look, and now it is something that is actually automatic. And I'm gonna walk through how to set that up with you. So when we go to make a new page, you're either making it in your main navigation or all the way down here in your not linked section. So we'll just make a new page in the not linked. This is my live site. We're gonna start with a blank page. And we're gonna hit YouTube enter and when you go to edit a new page you're obviously going to click edit up here it's going to bring up full screen and then you can add a content section so before when you added these content sections it had a ton of just layouts that you can plug in your own information but now there are some auto features in here which is super exciting because it will bring a more cohesive look so if you're listing services or portfolio pieces or, oh my gosh, anything, services, anything that you need to list that you want to have a very cohesive look, you can use these auto templates and you can change the size, you can change the information. I'm gonna walk through how to start one, edit one, and then change the orientation layout, adding new features just within um, the one that you select. So if we're doing a list, we're just gonna select this first one to start off with. And you'll notice if you click in here, you can't edit the text, the buttons, the images from right in this uh, content section. You have to come over here to edit content. Now, in under your elements, these are all the different elements that are currently showing, the ones that are clicked. So if I click it off, there goes your title. Button, button is gone. Image, removes the image, title, body. So you have to have at least one. So I'm going to have the button appear for down here, which corresponds to each item. I'm gonna do the image and the title. Let's do this title too. Next, under this content section, this is how you're going to change each, each image, each title, each button, all that good stuff. So under the title here, this is where you're gonna change your title. New title. Say we want it left justified. I'm gonna click back. Now for each item, now let's say we wanna add four and we want to list, let's say we're listing the books that we were the author of. So first I'm going to click this first one here. I'm going to delete the image so it goes away. I'm going to add an image by searching. So if we go in here under free images, let's just pick one of these in here. Let's go with this one first, add image. So while that's loading, I'm going to change the title. Let's just say this is book one. And then description, you're just gonna click in this box. Book one is about. And then down here under the button, maybe you're linking it to Amazon by now. So in order to link this button to anything, you click this gear and you can link it to a web address. And if you're doing this, I always recommend opening it in a new window because it will bounce people off of your site. You worked so hard to get these people on your website. so don't make it hard for them to come back and find you again. So click this here. You can link to any page in your site. So if you click here in page, all of your pages are going to show up. You can have it email you directly and you can include the subject. I would recommend if you are going to have a button email anywhere in your site, always put in the subject so that way you know where it came from and you can keep track of you know, what buttons are working where people are landing on your site that are filling out the email form that you're getting an email from. So a good way to A-B test, you know, anything like that, uh, just to keep a pulse on your audience. Phone, this is great on mobile because you click it and it calls it, and then file, you can upload any type of file. There's all my lead magnets here, but you can click file, make sure it has a check mark, and open it in a new, new window. So we'll just, have it link to a page here, click save. So that is our first one, our image is loaded. 
we have our title, we have our description, our buy now, and then we're pretending like that is linking to Amazon to purchase. Next one, book two. So same process, you'd click delete, add a new image. So I'm gonna call this book two. Book two is about, same, same process. Buy now. And then if we wanna add one, simply just click add, click on the new list item. We're gonna add a new image by searching free images, go down, that one looks awesome. Add that while that's loading. Because if you click out of this while that image is loading still, it will not stick. So you wanna make sure that box goes away and your image populates before you click out. Buy now. Back. Okay. And we wanted to add a fourth, right? Same thing. Search images. We're going to click one. And then we'll just leave those as they are. So that image is there. Click back. So right now, you see it's two to a line. Looks really nice, right? So if we wanted to have them all four into one row, this is where you can start really changing up the design. So right now it's under a simple list. If you do a banner slideshow, it is a slideshow and you can have um, the arrows on either side. So you can have a full bleed or inset, which full bleed is more pa page end to page end. Inset is a little more condensed. Your padding is how much white space is between the top of the section and the section above. So if I do large, you notice that that space really jumps up. Your alignment is where it fits on the page. Um, your infinite scroll and show adjacent slides. So if I go here, it will show, sorry, that, that looks a little glitchy. It's not the image that the images are back. Um, the adjacent slides, it'll show. So it just kind of prompts the viewer Okay, there's more to look at. So if it's a portfolio and you wanna get big images, but you wanna make sure that they know that there's more, that would be something that you would consider for that, just to make sure that the viewer is prompted to continue looking. And then your infinite scroll. Sorry, I keep making my images go away. I'm not sure why that's doing that. If you come up here to carousel, so this is more of a scrolling feature. Um, it can go automatically or you can have your arrows and then that is it for those three so if we go back to the simple list and we start going down to what we can adjust content first is your text your title your button above the image media first is your image first you can add more columns so this is how we get our four to a row by adding additional columns you can crop the image so this is one of my favorite parts because I used to have to take images and put them in Canva in order to get them in a nifty little circle. And now you can have them just put right in, which is such a time saver. Um, I know I talk about this in another YouTube video about how to adjust your images into different shapes and import them in, but this just takes care of that right away. So you can put you know, any image into just any kind of any kind of shape. So if most of your images are square, you can have them square, you can have them landscape, you can have them vertical. We'll keep it circle for now. Now let's say you don't like those circles, they're they're a little big. So if you start in the the style, you can make your text size, we'll start here. You can make it a card. Which that doesn't do much on this one. It's more if it's overlaying on the images like I showed you before. But we're gonna go back down to the size and space. So this is where you can really play around with the sizing. So inset will condense it just slightly, but it's mostly your media, uh, your text down here. Media width. If I wanted my circle super small, medium large. So let's say I want them small. My placement, make it left, center, right. Content width. My text isn't that long, but it would be condensing if these were paragraphs here. And then your space between the items make them large in between. Now, what's really cool is um, you can make it a card and that would ha that could have a color stand out against a background color. So right now it's white, but let's play around with what it would look like if we did colors. So here is the editor for the actual section. 
click on that, you can add a background image or video. But I'm going to go to colors and I'm just going to do this light one right here. So if I go back into edit content and I change this into a card. So if we wanted to change that card here, we would go into editing even further into our site styles, click the paintbrush, click colors and hover here and it'll tell you which content color that you picked if you're not sure. So this one is light one. I'm going to click the pencil here. If you just hover over here and click, it's going to bring up the section that you're working with here, or it'll just bring up the elements that you have just in that section if, if that's all you have there. So if I click here on the button and I want to change the button color, all I need to do is go in here. Yep, I just changed the actual button color for that. Let's, let's try this again. So if I do show all and I come down, I click in here to run our list. So our card background is currently light blue. If we change this, it's going to change the background color here. So that's how you can get that boxy look. So I can change it to yellow, I can change it to blue, whatever looks best. And then this is where you're, you can change, you know, the color of your title. Make that blue. You can change the button background here to something like yellow. And then maybe the text, you want that to pop just a little bit more. This is a demo, but I'm still <laughs> crazy particular. So now you can see how you just completely shifted the auto selection here. But the cool thing is, is that if you add more or less, so let's say you add another one and you want to come in and, you know, change the size. All you need to do is go in your design, change the columns, you know, maybe you want it four again, and it just completely changes the whole entire look. Um, so you can play around with it, make it a slideshow. I mean, you can come in here and really customize what, what these automatic features are and make them work for you and just create a whole cool new customized look. For joining us, let us know in the comments below if you have any training requests. We'd love to help you. And head over to our website to join our community and get even more trainings on Squarespace. Thanks again for being here. I'm Elizabeth Muller, founder of Bloom Creative Company.